Look, Bob, thanks so much, and thanks to all of you guys for doing what you do. It's hard to believe until you see it with your own eyes just how bad the policies of the Kamala Harris administration have been when it comes to the southern border. Uh, they started their administration. Kamala Harris came into office making promises, and she kept those promises to open the American southern border. They stopped deportations on day one. They stopped construction of the border wall on day one. We see the border wall sitting here, ready to be completed behind us, and that can't happen because of Kamala Harris's administration. They reinstated catch and release, and they stopped remain in Mexico. So all of these asylum claimants who come to our border, they can now get released into our country because they're not forced to stay in Mexico while we adjudicate their asylum claims. And we have to remember that as terrible and idiotic as these policies were, they cause real human beings to suffer. A lot of you know my story, and I, I have been a little kid waiting at the bedside of his mother, angry that his mom took something that she shouldn't have taken, but praying to God, please, Jesus, let her wake up. And the unfortunate truth is because of the poison that Kamala Harris has let come into this country, there are a lot of those prayers that won't be answered. There are a lot of parents that won't wake up because when you take fentanyl, you don't wake up. It takes your life. So there are a lot of kids out there who have been deprived of second chances with their moms and dads. There are a lot of moms and dads out there who will never see their kids walk down the aisle because of what Kamala Harris has unleashed at this border. The human toll of this is the thing that we cannot forget. We have got kids who can't learn in schools because their kids have been overwhelmed with migrant children who shouldn't be there. We've got hospitals where the wait times have exploded because illegal aliens are standing in front of the line of American citizens. The media needs to tell the truth and Kamala Harris needs to change course on this crazy border, notes, border mess or the, 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 the people who suffer the most are the people who can least afford to suffer. Now, I've heard so many stories just in the last half hour of how these guys have failed the American people and especially failed our children. But I want to introduce some of the people who are fighting this day in and day out, and some of them, I'm sure, can tell you some stories. Uh, and it's, it's just unbelievable. It is unbelievable what we're letting happen at the southern border, and we're letting it happen because Kamala Harris refuses to do her job. What President Trump and I promise to the American people is very simple. This is not rocket science. It is not hard to secure the southern border. You just have to re-implement some common sense policies. You've got to re-implement Remain in Mexico. You've got to stop catch and release. You've got to force the asylum seekers to stay in Mexico while their claims are being adjudicated. And you've got to finish this border wall and re-implement deportation. If people can come into this country and they know they're never going to be deported, you effectively have an open border. That's what Kamala Harris promised. That's what Kamala Harris did. And Donald Trump and I promised to do exactly the opposite. So first, of course, we saw a uh, great sheriff of Cochise County, Bob Watkins. Thank you for doing what you do, and thanks for answering some of my questions. I want to introduce John Ladd, who is a fourth-generation rancher, who's told me things today it's just hard to believe. You have people coming into his ranch, chasing his cattle, stealing his equipment, destroying his property, and his own government refuses to stop it. John, I'm sorry. As a United States senator, I am ashamed at what this Harris administration has done, and I promise it's going to get better in about six months. Thank you, John. I want to talk about Paul Perez, who is at the front line of pushing back against this crazy border policy. If you think about it, have we ever had an American border policy that is so at odds with the people who are actually doing it? You talk to these Border Patrol agents, and they are enraged that the Harris administration won't let them do their job. They just want to keep people safe. They need a president who lets them do that. So, Paul, if you want to say a few words, I, I think the media would love to hear from you. So under President Trump, we had a secure border. We have the ability, the knowledge, and the will to secure this border. All we need is somebody like President Trump and Senator Vance to come in to, and let us do our job. We can secure this border. President Trump showed the American people that he can secure the border. All borders are Harris has shown is that they can create chaos on this border. Our communities are suffering. People are overdosing from fentanyl. This can be stopped. 
there is a playbook. President Trump had it, and he still has it. They can make it happen. Paul, thank you, and thanks, uh, Brandon, for being here. Here, are Brandon, thanks so much. You guys are doing incredible work, despite the fact you don't have the support of an administration. I'm going to close here in a second, but I want to just point out that when the media lies about Kamala Harris being the border czar, here is what you're lying about. You cannot have an effective border policy unless you have somebody who is coordinating all the different agencies of the U.S. federal government. You need the State Department involved to send people back to their home countries. You need the Department of Justice involved to prosecute these terrible drug crimes. And, of course, you need DHS involved so that the Border Patrol is empowered to do their job. Kamala Harris, as border czar, was asked to coordinate all these functions of government, and she's done nothing. Every time I ask these guys, and I even, I even asked, you know, Brandon, Paul, let's play devil's advocate here. Tell me, has Kamala Harris done anything you've asked her to do? She is the border czar. Has your border czar done anything you've asked her to do? And the answer is no. They send letters. They make phone calls. They are begging the American president and vice president for leadership, and their own border czar ignores them. That is a scandal. That is a disgrace. And to every American watching this, it will stop, but only if you elect Donald J. Trump president in just a few months. God bless you guys. Thank you for being here.